so I want to discuss the nuclear option when it comes to chronic procrastination. And this is the issue I had. I was a chronic procrastinator. What that looked like was days and weeks going by uh, of inaction or postponing what I had built in my mind as this super, super serious, important project or projects because it was over a period of years. But the nuclear option for this, now my book on this kind of gives five steps. And really what they do, the book does is it takes it from, this is the most basic thing you can do and it goes through the basic things till you get to the fun, the, the, the really, the, 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 the hard case, the nuclear option approach for procrastination. Now what this one is all about is basically it boils down to boundaries. The nuclear option is the nuclear option because usually when you try it, it's like you don't really want to do it because it just seems so extreme. But if it's so chronic and you were, you were in the place I was when I had this problem, this awful problem of guilt, self-sabotage and um, low self-esteem, it, if you're in that place, it's like, okay, maybe I, I'm willing to almost try anything here. So without further ado, the nuclear option basically looks like you wake up and you know, that day you've got this big, important, serious uh, project you're working on. Now your tendency is to not do it and procrastinate. Well, the nuclear option is you set a time for it and if you don't do it at that time, you are not allowed to do it for that given day. Now, I've explained this in other videos, and uh, but it's the, it's the one method I keep coming back to because not everybody is willing to try this. Sometimes people think, well, look, if, if they, that doesn't sound like it'll help me because I think I'll just use that and abuse that approach. But really what it does is It is a boundary with your project. I've said it's gonna start at this time. Now what I'm not gonna do is shift the boundary to later on today. There is no later on today if it's not when I say it's, it's starting, okay? Now, that has, on the day that you don't engage with it and you follow through with that and you implement that boundary, you enforce that boundary and you say, actually, I'm stepping away from this now. I've lost the opportunity to do it. It's hard to explain this, but something shifts in your mind. It's that tendency that in little subpersonality that advocates for procrastinating, I can do it later, I can do it later, which is really just a coping mechanism. It actually gets the message of, oh, I'm not in charge here anymore. There's a conscious, deliberate decision maker here that is choosing when we engage and when we, when we don't, when we postpone it. So you learn effectively to trust yourself, or you could say you learn to take yourself seriously when you're establishing boundaries for projects. Now, I hope I'm, I'm, I'll explain it in other videos because it's, it's just like a, I, I'm learning that this is a really novel thing I'm talking about here, this approach. I haven't, I've never heard anybody else talk about it, this approach, about you walk away if you, if you fail to follow, if you fail to show up for yourself. So I will talk about it again, but I would just implore you, I, I invite you, if you are really, really struggling with this, to give that a go. Let's say you're in the typical thing I see a lot of is, um, a person who is self-employed, right? And they're at home and they are delaying and delaying, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. Okay, tomorrow wake up, set a start time. Now, if, you, if you're not there, let's say at uh, 10 a.m. for yourself or something, you don't do any work on your, on your business that day. Now, your mind is probably saying, I can't do that. That will be a disaster. Um, I've got obligations, I've got this, I've got that. I have to do this, I have to do that. Yeah, well, okay. Let's just, you see, what's going to happen is if you follow through and you enforce that boundary, 
the next day when you wake up and you say, okay, I'm going to try 9 a.m. today. Now your that in, so personality that, that advocates procrastination is really taking note of this and watching what you're going to do. Because it realizes the stakes are now a lot higher than they were a couple of days ago. This guy is serious. If I don't, if I'm not there when he says I'm going to be there, should be there, this doesn't get done at all. Now the nuclear option, it tends to feel a little bit anxiety provoking at the start. But the one thing it'll give you that none of the other techniques that I, even the, the, the four uh, predecessor techniques I talk about, or certainly, to be honest, techniques I've, I've seen elsewhere. What this technique will give you is that if you can do it and master it, it won't just help you with your procrastination problem. It will end your procrastination problem permanently. Permanently. And it doesn't take a long time. It's, it's like... As soon as, as, as the penny drops, and that subpersonality that advocates procrastination realizes I'm not in charge anymore. This thing is over. You will not procrastinate anymore. You'll have complete control over this issue. All that is is self-sabotage uh, through a faulty self-perception that is surrounded in guilt and shame. That's why we do it. I've, I've made other videos on that. I'll make more videos on that because it's important that we know this. But this issue goes away. This is not about you. This is not some, some defect you have. Or this is not some personality flaw that you have. This is a, it's a maladaptive uh, coping mechanism that we develop to deal with self-esteem issues and anxiety. And it is very, very easily remedied once you understand why it happens. So guys, I hope that's useful. And uh, if you haven't checked it out already, my book is called Procrastination Decoded. Highly recommend that you read that book. I also have a video course on procrastination, which will show you all the details about the, the techniques that I, I, I coach people in. If you've already read the book, by the way, I, I, I would in, implore you to, to read the book again and maybe keep reading it, check in with the book, because our culture is one where we are almost encouraged to procrastinate. Um, there's various reasons for that. We have this kind of toxic hustle culture where it's like do, 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 do more, more, more all the time. And that's not helpful. That's going to breed procrastination. So check out the book. If you've already read it, reread it. And, um, also, if you want to work with me, you can just go to my website. It's very easy to get in touch and uh, to set up one-to-one uh, -one work where we can get into your specific issue. Guys, uh, oh yeah, someone told me to, I should say this more. Please like this video and um, subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot and it helps me reach more people too. So um, please do that if you could. And I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you watching this video. Talk to you next time and take care.